Hello everybody! Thanks for joining me again. Today I am going to cover the basics on how I do my foundation, my concealer, setting powder, all the starting steps. I'm gonna be making this video so that if I want to do a eyeshadow video, I can just skip all the fun but boring stuff and go right to the colorful eyeshadow. I can finally point in the corner and say, Look here. Without further ado, I think I'm gonna get started. Give me a second and we're gonna put this mop up. Alright. Oh look, I even got this little alfalfa thing going on. I'm cool with it. If you have seen my previous video, then you have seen the foundation steps that I take. If you do want to watch that video, I suggest it. But just click right up here somewhere, right in there. My basic foundation is Il Maquillage. It honestly is my favorite. It lets my freckles shine through. This is the tone matching and it does a very good job of doing so. And this shade is Woke Up Like This, number 35. The brushes I'm using, I can't really tell you what I'm using just because they don't have numbers or anything. I can tell you the brand and I guess what it's for if it says. so. To put it on my face, I just use this e.l.f. foundation brush. Almost forgot to take this baby out. <laughs> to brush it all out, I don't know what SK is. And let me do a quick Google thing. Everybody say hi to my cat. The brush I'm using to blend it all out is by Sonia Kashuk. Honestly, I got this brush at Target and it's one of my favorite brushes. And it is the Flat Top Foundation brush. So now that you've watched me do half my face, I'm just gonna fast forward to the other half being done. Now that I have put that all over my face, I'm gonna do some concealer. And the concealer I specifically use is Boing. It's by Benefit. It is a concealer that I've stuck with for quite a while now. I'm someone who has deep eyes naturally, so it's really good to get all that coverage underneath there. I also use it as the base on my eyelids for my eyeshadow. There's probably another product that I could use that's probably better for on top of my eyelids. I just haven't discovered yet. If you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments. I am a very light shade, so this is shade number one for the pale people. I do just use your average makeup sponge to blend that out. And once again, now that I am done with this, let's fast forward. So now that we have the concealer on our face, well, my face, your face too if you're doing this along with me, I like to have a setting powder. I use one of two things. The first is e.l.f. This is e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. One of my most recent additions into my makeup collection, and I've realized how much I like it. it really does bring everything together. Or, I use this little clay pot. I can't tell you what the name of it is. I lost the box. So unfortunately, it's going to be hard to find this baby. I am going to do my research and find out for you guys what exactly this is. So, if you do like the effects it has, you can also go out and get it. It's an orange powder made from oyster shells. This stuff is actually super versatile. You can use it as an eyeshadow, as a blush, as a setting powder. I really only use it as a setting powder in the summer so I can have a little bit more of a glow. Reminder, if you are allergic to shellfish, you shouldn't use this. Your face will flare up. But for today, I am going to use the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. The brush I use for this is not from a specific company. It actually came with the oyster powder. Just your big, super fluffy brush. I do try to avoid my eyelids as much as possible just because I did notice it does make your eyeshadow a little more 
cake gear. And there you have it friends, my basic foundation. Not anything huge, but the combination of the three really work together to blend so much in. I do feel a little halfway done, if you will, so I'm just gonna go quickly finish my face. I just want to say thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this little quick video on my how to do foundation. Don't forget, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see some more cool makeup videos. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to catch you all later. Bye!